Hey everyone, I welcome you all to the hot shots of InfoSec train. In this film, we are going to talk about cyber etiquettes, which is also known as netiquettes. It is just the etiquette which is followed in the cyberspace. Cyberspace is a concept of describing a widespread interconnected digital technology. This is something that is completely different from the real world that you are living in. And it's just a virtual world connected where we have different different people throughout the globe who are sitting at different locations can communicate to each other can work together can learn together can do whatever they want to do and how they are going to behave how they are going to do their work everything is covered under the cyber etiquettes that is also known as netiquettes netiquettes involve everything like hackers smartphones devices security cyber security forensics digital devices attacks technologies malicious code complex concern cyber attacks infection spam everything the whole world cloud in front of you is just 0.1 percent of the entire cyberspace now the point is what are you doing are you thinking before you click anything or are you just simply clicking on everything do you think before typing your password whether your password is being compromised or not? Are you thinking whether the data that you're sharing is it protected or not? Are you putting your card data as it is, like without confirming whether the website is secured or not? Everything that you do in a cyberspace can lead to a direct impact on your real life. You need to understand that cyber security is there to secure you, but they cannot do the work that you have to do. It can train you, it can guide you, it can help you but it can do works on your behalf. So for that, we have the etiquettes available, which individuals should follow in order to overcome these problems. Okay, so the next thing is, is the job really done when it is done? This is the time of remote working and we are working remotely from our home. What is the biggest problem that we are doing or facing is we are not paying enough concern over the security measures that we are taking. When I talk about this particular security thing, few things we need to make sure before we think that our job is really done. First of which is, you should always keep your software and applications updated and delete the ones you don't use. Second, be careful when dealing with emails from unknown sources. Third, don't click that link or online ad which shows that, okay, you won some thousand dollars, you won a lottery, something like that. Or maybe ad link would be your devices Fail, like failing, it is having some malwares, please download this antivirus, please do not click on those links or ads. Both, just because it's free, it doesn't mean it's safe. That is the most important quote right now. Mo I've seen most of the people, they download free software just because they are free. They are going to make your task easier. No, it's not like that. If it is free, make sure that it is safe also. Point number five, do not reveal sensitive information online. Nowadays, there is a trend of posting selfies and photographs online, which definitely leads to the compromising of your sensitive information, PII, personally identifiable information. Sixth, keep your account information for yourself. Do not share it with anyone, not even your family. Do not post it on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, never, nowhere. Do not share it with any friends or families in a text message also. Seventh. Report illegal activities or offending content as you see. Please make sure that you do that because if you're not going to do that, they are going to increase this particular uh, illegal activities and offensive content posting everywhere, which indefinitely will lead one way or other to lose something from your end too. It is going to make the world less secure. Point number eight, what you post online stays online forever. You cannot delete it. So think at least thrice before you post anything on the social media or any of the online platform. Point number nine, use anti-malware protection before you go online. You don't know which website is having drive-by download. You just browse or click over a link and something will download in your device which will compromise your entire device. To say that you are safe and to stay secure, you need to run anti-malware before you go to any website or you even connect to the internet. Tenth and last for the job really done part is create backup copies for your important stuff. You, do, you never know when the ransomware is going to hit you or your device. It's always good to have a backup. Now the point is, why do we need the cyber etiquette? See, 
these are just the rules you can understand just like the real world we follow some etiquettes we follow some steps we follow some guidance that is the same in the case of cyberspace we need to follow these etiquettes in order to be a part of a good cyberspace to construct it in a good way the poor etiquette can stick around to haunt you for much longer than the particular cyber etiquette the good stuffs there are some basic rules you need to follow to avoid the damaging your online and offline relationship now the question is how first use respectful language with everyone whether you know them or you don't know them or even if you know them and they are your enemies the potential rivalries please use a respectful language because this can later on be used as a part of evidence that you tried to do something harmful to them point number 2 share with discretion share but think before you share that is the most important part third don't exclude others you should always try to talk about everyone talk about like in general not not i'm not saying that boast anyone or to a uh, bitch or ditch someone i am saying that you should talk about everyone or to everyone in easier words fourth choose friends very wisely um there is a word, there is a term like the circle that you have in your friends is the way you are your friend circle decides how you are and who you are fifth don't email large files please do not email large files upload it on the drive and ask the particular individual to download it or if possible share them physically with the help of pen drives sixth respect people's privacy see everyone is having their own privacy do not try to interfere in their privacy or their private space seventh i have seen that people are posting and sharing the whatsapp messages whichever they are getting which is inappropriate please check all the facts before you repost it or share it if it is wrong please notify the like respective person that this is inappropriate and this is wrong it is not uh, something like which is reality please make sure whatever you share is truth eight respond to emails promptly when you are going to respond to an email just think of it once before you are emailing it point number 9 update online information keep yourself updated with the online informations whatever information you know whatever information you can gather whatever things are happening on the cyber space you should be updated with those things like the recent ransomware hits recent malware attacks all those things should be like known to you not all but to be most of the famous ones and then the last one is a word from very well that's it thank you and regard from infosec train that was all about cyber etiquettes and etiquettes we'll see you in the next few things